Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and welcome back to the channel today. In QuickBooks Point of Sale today, I'm going to cover a topic that I get asked time and time again, and that is, oh no, Peter, my internet's gone out. What am I gonna do in my store? I still have customers in here, but my internet's out. Oh my gosh, what do I do? So we're gonna tell you exactly how to handle that in Point of Sale today. And before we do, I'm gonna have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there and ask questions or request videos. People such as myself and other Point of Sale users are gonna answer your questions. And if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe down there to get all the best Point of Sale videos coming at you all the time. All right, so here we are in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Your internet has gone down. You can't bring up a web page. You may or may not know this, but in Point of Sale, the part that uses the internet is processing credit cards. And today about, I don't know, 80% of your sales at least are going to be credit card. People just pull out their little card and they give it to you and, and away they go. But if your internet's down, that's a real game changer. You can no longer <laughs> process their card. Uh, this up in the upper right signifies that I am signed into my merchant account in point of sale. But if the internet goes out, that may or may not still be green. If you go to make a sale while the internet is out and you take credit card and you, you do the whole card thing, it's gonna either say that it can't reach the server or it could not be authorized. So your internet's down and you've talked to your internet provider and they're like, yeah, we're working on it, but it might be up in an hour or two, but you still have a full store of customers and you need to make sales. So what are you gonna do? Well, you don't exactly want to write down all of your customer's credit card numbers. That's absolutely insecure. It's against the rules. It's against PCI compliance. Um, it's a big no-no. You just don't want to do that. Plus, your customers don't like that. They, they don't like handing out their credit card numbers to write them down, and they're laying around, and they're out there in the world. Just something not, people don't like to do. Okay, so what you're going to do and, and this will work just fine every time. We're gonna use this magical little device that you have in your pocket right now. Everybody's got them, it's a cell phone, and we are just going to switch over to processing credit cards uh, quickly and easily through the cell phone on your exact same account, and it's gonna work wonders for you. So, here's how you do it. So you're gonna go on the file menu, head on down to set up interview, we're gonna head over to the payments tab and I'm going to say no I would not like to accept credit cards why am I doing this I'm doing this because the credit card processing in the point of sale is not working right now anyway so we're just not going to use it in there so if we head back to the make a sale screen and we're ringing somebody up uh, we got this and we got this so we're at hundred and seven dollars and forty eight cents now I'm still gonna hit the credit card button because I've turned credit card processing off in point of sale. And this way, what we're doing is we're just telling the point of sale, yes, we're taking a credit card, but no, it is not being processed in here. Okay, this person has a visa. And so now the point of sale says, okay, 107.48 was processed by credit card, but it doesn't need to take the card. At this point, it just is going to tell QuickBooks Accounting that uh, a card was taken, and now we're gonna do some magic with the phone. Uh, I have a mirroring app here, so you can see my phone. Oops, which is charging also. <laughs> so this is my phone that you can see right in front of me here. Uh, I, so you're gonna download the Go Payment app and install it. So let me get into Go Payment. This is Intuit's app for receiving and charging tr credit cards. Uh, here it is. If you don't have the app, go ahead and download it. Right inside the app, you can order this card reader, which I have here, right here. And uh, now with the point of sale, we've told it that we took a credit card. Now on the Go Payment app on your phone, once you get used to this, it'll be quick and easy. We're gonna hit the plus button and I'm gonna say new sale, and the amount is gonna be 107.48. Uh, so there we are. And then I'm gonna review the order. The charge amount is 107.48. Uh, if you really wanted to, 
we could back up a second. Oh, I don't have any tax on there, but you could actually specify the amount and then the tax as well, if you'd like to. And if you have gold payment fully set up for your locale, it will automatically do the, uh, the, the tax. So you just need to put in the subtotal and it'll do the tax automatically. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and hit charge 107.48 and hit card reader. And it's gonna be finding my card reader all right, it found my card reader. I can see at the top there how much battery is left in my card reader. These have a little uh, kind of like phone cord part port that you can plug into a battery if you would like to, or you can plug it into an outlet with a regular old standard micro USB cord, something like that. So there you are. Uh, I would just put the credit card in and take the payment. I'm not gonna charge myself $107 right now, but that is how you would do it and you would accomplish taking a card with your tablet or your mobile phone uh, and then you would hit save and print on your point of sale and hand them the receipt there and that way if your internet is out you can keep charging customers on their card you would just do it with your phone or tablet when your internet is all back up and everything you would head back on the setup interview and log back into your payments account and you would be back to normal. But in a pinch, this is an excellent way to keep taking payments from your customer and make it so your store doesn't have to shut down or take cash the whole time. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. I hope this helped you out in your troubles if you're losing your internet. You have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.